So Thatcher's been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was delighted. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my only dear father liked to brag about how he meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad'll be a captain. Down in a whiskey bottle before the ever last show. Right, Kenway. I've been musing on this plan of yours, this observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. All them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. Mains out! Let's go! What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Annie. You know me better than that. We're only after information. But we'll find where the princess docks in the spare time. The princess? Slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the sage aboard him. Captain! Vane's just sunk a merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Not before now. that slaver ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know. I know. She's booked, Captain! The slaver ship is running! I'll get it too close. Ready to fire, sir! Fire! That's a small gale, sir. Fire! Fire! Damn, 
that captain there. He's unloading everything he has. Sink it. Find the captain. Come on, me roasters. You scare me back and brains. Guns and steel aren't louder than sticks and spittle veins. I've more than enough of all that. Just find the captain. Captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll say a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging, jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, oh. what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, try, sir! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Try them up! Cast them off. I'll cut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well. The fears of Edward Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob!
Take some now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food if only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Well, some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Dance with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering! Now stay back and let me live in peace! I would if you stopped filching the food I... I'll stop nothing till you bait me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew!
I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! This up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. Up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane! Bloody try! By all means! Nancy boy, you only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe. You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. 
<laughs> Don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. Captain, have a moment. Why are we needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain? The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. Nugget of your time, my friend. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flow of rum fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. You've done an old salt proud, Captain. You're making it worth your while, too. Long Ben's boats curse me, and I don't. Have you a moment for an old salt? I'll not play duck and drake with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach. The lads would be in better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. You savvy? <laughs> a good capitaine. He takes care of his men. Yes. The sailors are a peu dissatisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. Merci, monsieur. Thank you. Thank you. I need a drink. Clearly, my... Hey.
What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Otty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does the crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close.
yourselves, you dollars! <laughs> the men? We're short on time. Aye. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind this blood sample? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the king's blood. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar statehouse in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we?
Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something, huh? And what measures are you taking to recover the princess from these pirates? And what measures are you taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. What of the sage's present location? Africa, your excellency. Africa? By God. We cannot do that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of this. What measures are we taking to recover the princess from this fight? Captain Hornigold has dispatched one of his best men to ensure the stage is captured. What is the stage's present location? Africa. By God, the winds do not favor that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself of that sick institution. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to reward. What measures are we taking to recover the princess from this battle? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. What of the sage's present location? Do we know? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? My God. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that sick institution. I fail to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? Our body and soul inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow up. Natural, efficient. A fair point, Grand Master. Stop there! Remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real, something beyond yourself.